Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. Uh, just quick update really to update the count here. Not much happening here. While Bitcoin is going up quite strongly, ADA broke also above the 54, uh, 45 cent level. Yeah, we talked in the previous video here about this um, one, two setup in green where the wave one started at 48.3 cents. We moved down in wave one to 44.6 cents, topped in wave two in green at 46.8 and are then probably coming down in wave three in green um, here with this one two setup of the wave three and I told you there is definitely a risk that the wave two will go higher or the opportunity that the wave two will go higher a breakout above 45 cents would confirm that and then I gave you key support levels for that or resistance levels for that mm, we talked about certain levels we talked about the 61.8 percent level at 45.7 at the 78.6 at 46.2 it did reach the 78.6 and i told you if we do that while staying below this key level yeah in the previous video yesterday my last video i outlined this 78.6 percent fib level as key level at very this is very decisive and um, yeah very important level where if we get above that level then this one two setup will get unreliable but until then we can, if we go to that level, look at this in terms of a one, two setup and that would be followed ideally by a wave three to the downside. Again, ADA currently not a super reliable chart. Yeah, we talked about that as well. That is why in terms of more aggressive trading, I'm at the moment focusing on the more reliable charts. For example, ETH is one of them, yeah. Uh, ADA, still good for me for small accumulation, step-by-step. -step. DCA, for example, yeah? But um, this can morph into <clears throat> this can morph into anything really. I mean, it it is what you need to understand. We are in this range, and in such a range, basically you could see that as a large triangle. That okay, fair enough, might be finished now. But we really haven't broken the ascending trend line to the downside. We haven't officially broken out of the triangle, which would only be the case if we broke below the wave below here at forty two point um, four cents. And the wave below would be the confirmed breakout at 40.4. Now we've not done that, therefore we are sort of still not, we don't have a confirmed triangle breakout as such yet. Uh, but we are focusing on the downside against the key level of 48.3 cents yeah, in the self sort of medium term and in the very short term here at the resistance level at 46.8. But for now we've reacted to that 78.6% FIB level. Let's see if we hold it. Uh, this could for, for sure morph into something like a so-called cup and handle, which um, in the end would be fine. Yeah, um, All that would probably happen then, to be fair, is that this wave two will morph over here because it wouldn't change the larger trend. This would just be a stronger counter reaction in a larger downtrend that in my opinion hasn't been broken yet to the upside. So a lot would need to happen to really break or change this downtrend into an uptrend. As I said yesterday, of course, you know, we have pulled back to important support. There is at any moment, I mean, this was key support here, the ascending trend line, basically touched, nearly touched that yesterday. Um, you know, fair enough, you can trade these triangles, you can trade these ranges, but trading a triangle is extremely difficult. And why go with something extremely difficult if there are sort of, let's say, easier options out there? Um, but yeah, fair enough, of course, you know that there can be a positive reaction to such a support level here at any time, which we also saw. And this can always be, you know, as long as we stay below that 48.3 cent level, this could still be a 1-2 setup in green. Yeah. Um, but for now, I'm going with this 1-2, one, 1-2. Two, one, two. Um, and this is valid until we break about 46.8. Ideally, we already reverse now. And the reason for that is we've reached a 78.6% FIP level. So I'll keep an eye on that for you, but nothing has changed in the higher level trend. Um, yeah, so, and, and all of this price action is still corrective. So there's not really anything else to update here. Confirmed breakout to the downside, you know, important support if we come down once more here in the wave three, for example, important um, support is still sort of this region around the ascending trend line around 43 and a half cents okay and if we say okay wave two is over which obviously i don't have any let's say signal or confirmation for 
But let's say if wave two is over here in white, then the target for the wave three would be now the 41.5 cent level. Just need to have that on the radar, yeah? But I think there will be a lot of support around that 43.2, 43.3 cent level. Um, and yeah, and then we should come down to that 41.5 cent level. It's the 1.618 extension, which is the wave three target. Okay, and that's my update about um, ADA. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.